Today I'm going to be working with concrete and tar. I wanted to create some totem pieces and decided to try it on these solid walnut pieces as well as this cradled panel. I've never worked with concrete or tar before, but I've seen some other artists doing it and wanted to give it a go. As you'll see, even right off the bat, things did not go as planned. Um, I did not know what I was doing and it shows. I had a lot of a lot of problems but just kept working through them and in the end made some pretty cool pieces I'm excited to show as you can see I did not use any gesso on any of my wood pieces I'm not sure if that is part of the problem that I ended up having or not um, when I do this the next time I may go ahead and try some gesso first um, but the concrete mixture in and of itself didn't seem like it was quite right. Maybe the kind of concrete I got wasn't quite right, um, but I struggled getting this to work the way I was anticipating. I decided I wanted to add some cloth pieces as well, and so you'll see here that um, I have some cloth. I put up a little bit of tape to try to create some borders to keep the concrete from running off of the edges. My mixture just seemed really dry. Um, I did feel like I needed to hurry. Maybe that was part of the problem. Um, I thought maybe if I added some cheesecloth or some kind of cloth that it would help with the concrete to have something to bind to or grasp onto. Uh, it, it just didn't seem like it wanted to stick like I expected it to. So I did go ahead and add some cheesecloth to some of these pieces. As I was working the sides of that, um, it just kept falling off back and forth and I struggled with it. I wanted to also make some pieces with fabric and rust. I had some rusty bits and bobs, so wanted to try to concrete the rust into a piece of fabric and then try to use the concrete to put that piece onto the wood totem or the walnut. Um, I tried a couple different things. None of them really seemed to work super well. Again, uh, this whole process was, was a learning experience for me, and I know what I won't do the next time. That's what I learned from it. <laughs> At this point, I gave up using all of my tools and started just using my fingers to work with it more like clay, obviously using gloves for safety purposes. Um, I did enjoy that a lot more, however, and I was able to get shapes, the shapes maybe uh, more of what I was hoping to do, um, but it's definitely a messy process, 
and the concrete just kept crumbling off and falling everywhere. So uh, I guess in my head, I, I was thinking that, that wherever the concrete was um, or wherever it fell, it would stick and I would have solid concrete down the road everywhere, but it didn't exactly work out that way. I was able to clean it up off of my work table. This piece initially felt a little more solid, felt like the concrete was adhering much better. Um, so I felt a little better about this one once I got done placing all of the concrete where I wanted it. But as you'll see later, um, once it dried, it just slid right off of the walnut and it didn't stick. So I uh, was a little disappointed with that, but again, you'll see down the road here, I still made it work. Um, I just got it to stick a different way. At this point, I just kept pushing on through all of the pieces that I had sitting there. Um, I don't know exactly how long I was working with all of this. I would say maybe 45 minutes or less that I had the wet concrete. Um, I really wasn't sure what my working time with it was. I wanted to try again to use the concrete to embed some more rusty objects. And I found that it worked really well to use my fingers to to tamp the concrete down and secure that nail in there. This piece had a big hole in it from a knot in the original wood and I really liked that and wanted to try to work around it so initially as I was putting the concrete on I, I was trying to work around that hole there. Once I got everything where I wanted it I went ahead and let them dry. I did have a little bit of concrete left over that I disposed of. can see the concrete did not stick. Uh, all of it fell off with the exception of the cradled panel that you see with the blue tape on it down there. The pieces um, that I made prior that I had not put on the wood were dry and they, they all seemed fine, um, but none of them adhered to the walnut. I did check with one of my teachers and they were saying that maybe Jessa would have helped the situation. At this point I got some tar and decided to go ahead and start applying the tar onto the boards. I peeled off the concrete um, and cleaned up the wood just a little bit to try to make a, a clean surface for the tar to adhere. Never worked with tar before so wasn't sure how this was going to go. Uh, it is definitely sticky and gooey. <laughs> couldn't quite decide what the best way was to apply it. Uh, again, the texture and the stickiness of it was much more than what I had expected or n knew about because I'd never worked with it before. So again, this was my first time and was really learning a lot of lessons as I worked through the process. I knew I should probably keep the tar layer thin try to apply it as lightly and thinly as possible. I knew it was going to take it a little while to dry and was hoping it would dry quicker if I was keeping it thinner as I applied it. I did catch myself laughing often as I was going through this process because the tar seemed to multiply and it just kept getting on more and more of my fingers and on my gloves and all over my workstation so I chuckled because it was like it was multiplying and I couldn't keep it under control very well but that's part of the process. Art can be messy. By this point I just was using my fingers to put the tar on as well so 
the concrete and the tar, I ended up feeling more confident with what I was doing using my fingers instead of the tools. I wanted to experiment a little bit laying some cloth on the tar when it wasn't quite fully cured. Um, for one, I wanted it to stick on there and hold it, but also I was hoping that some of the color would leach through the material and was just experimenting to see what I would get with that effect. point I set these aside to dry for a couple of more days um, and when I came back I picked this one up here with the material and decided to start adding some plaster pieces, plaster wrap, and some rusty nails. Again these uh, solid wood ones I'm hoping to make what's considered to be a totem and just wanted to incorporate some of my rusty things and rusty items with the plaster and the concrete and the tar, just wanting to create a very textural piece. As I'm pushing the nails through this plaster uh, wrap, the plaster is coming off of the material quite a bit, so I did it on the paper, trying to save some of that. I figured I'll probably need it to add a little water to and make a little plaster to put back onto those nails to help secure them. Once I had the nails where I wanted them, I went ahead and placed the plaster wrap into the water to activate it and started setting those nails a little more fiddly than what I anticipated. I wanted to get the plaster on to hold the nails, but I was trying to keep it off of the nails a little bit, so I had to work these quite a bit to get them situated. Uh, but in the end, I really liked where they were. I had everything where I wanted it. I realized I still had a lot of powder that hadn't been activated, so I was trying to dump some water on there and, and uh, mix it up a little bit. Again, wanted the nails to be somewhat straight, so it was a little fiddly, as I said before. I wanted to add some plaster to all of the pieces, so I just continue to make shapes with the plaster cloth and adhere those to the different pieces that I had sitting there. I'm trying to get those pieces to sit on there without having the extra plaster running all over the board was again a little bit challenging. I had a lot of fiddly things to do with these particular pieces that I'm working on. Um, but it paid off in the end. Uh, I really, really did enjoy the process and liked what I ended up creating.
Once I had the plaster on, I went ahead and let these dry. Uh, it didn't take quite as long. I worked on another project while they were drying, and then I came back to them to work them just a little bit further. I wanted to add some more rusty nails, especially to this totem piece, um, and decided to just start nailing those in to the wood. I found that some of the rusty nails started to bend, and at first I was like, oh no! But in the end, uh, again, I kind of like the organic. I like that they look a little broken. There's something about it that I guess just speaks to me. 